What's up guys, it's Dave. And today I want to go over some of the best looking compact sedans, in my opinion, that are on the market today or will be available very soon. Um, so if you uh, have a compact sedan or looking for a compact sedan, please let me know in the comments um, which one you want uh, or which one do you have. And if you're looking to buy one of these or considering these, well, it's a good timing because there's so many nice powertrains available for them. They look sportier than ever before, uh, have more features than ever before, and they're still pretty affordable. Like they're probably the only car that you can probably get under 30,000. If you're okay with being on the smaller side, me personally, I like to be at uh, in a midsize vehicle, but a lot of people like these cars, especially in certain markets where you will see like a lot of domination on midsize sedans. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, please like and subscribe and let's dive into the top five of my educated opinion. Coming in at number five is the 2024 Mazda 3 slash Mazda 3 hatchback which has a nice subtle design with power and functionality. You can just look at these seats right here. Uh, it just looks like a nice bronzes, orange, good color in, in one of their one of their cabins. Uh, has some nice luxury feel, a Bose speaker inside as well, an aluminum speaker grills, leather trim interior, uh, and available models. Uh, and then also has this big old engine inside. So you really feel like you're in a luxury slash racy kind of car without having to spend that luxury racy price of maybe $80,000. You see this guy's turning his head right here. Um, and then it looks, these rims are looking really nice on there. A little big for my taste, but looking good. This is a really nice, cool color, especially with this environment. You have this really, look at this turn dial thing. You can, you typically see those things in more luxury cars. Uh, nice rims again, uh, dual exhaust, cool little venting exhaust, uh, diffuser situation down there. Cool visibility on the uh, driver, the driver dashboard. Oh, uh, look at this. Now this just looks nice. This looks, my current car does not have anything looking so refined and classy. The, the inside has this, what is a Sky, here we go with Sky Active G again. Sky Active G, just, it's just a badge. It looks cool. Nobody knows what it means. It just means that you're going to push the gas and I guess fly off into the sky because there's a giant engine in this tiny car. I guess it's available. So thank God it's not in everything. Otherwise people would be flying away. But look at this, and the front grill looks pretty good. It looks, it looks acceptable. It looks not too bad. It's it's not too in your face, but it is still making a subtle statement. So this is going to be my number three. It has a cool look in addition to power and functionality and the reliability uh, that you can um, expect with this brand. Coming in at number four is the 24 Nissan Sentra, which is a huge shocker to me because I would these cars have never looked good until I would say. And you can tell that they're going to make some improvements on this bad boy here because this is, they're coming in, adding in this new kind of enhanced grill. Uh, the improves, the grill here is looking cool, has this nice little red symbol, so you know it's kind of like a sporty ish kind of, kind of feel. Big points for the two tone design. That gets me every time. Now, this would look better in the white, but still, this, the two tone design is amazing. These rims look pretty solid. The headlights don't look bad at all either. And then you have some, some cool um, edges and curves on the side here. So let's take a look at the front. This is a pretty solid front. I would say maybe the weakest point is the headlights, but they don't look terrible. And you have the emblem here. You have this nice, cool grill that's actually functional because it's letting that air flow, the air come in and cool the engine when you're driving. And then you have these cool things to the side. And this nice little contrasting chrome looking feature. On the back, you have, uh, so it looks like a single exhaust, almost looks like a dual, but then you have the f either a fake exhaust, some sort of diffuser. The back, light, head back headlights are cool. You have this SR symbol, which maybe it stands for Speed Racer. Not too familiar with the Nissan stuff. Uh, you have um, the, the rims looking good. And then the inside is, I think, where it's definitely a step up. Not only the two-tone, but the inside step up. I do like the interior here more than the Mazda, so I have to side with that looking this good looking interior here the seats look amazing as well uh it's a combination uh, it's definitely leading on the more sport sporty speed racer style i guess hence the sr and uh it has a 2.0 liter engine which is nice for a compact and oh look here the white looks great fantastic i think if they should just pretty much ex in my in my world just exclusively make this color 
or or make them all two tone or something. That's some cool technology. That's nice. Yep, the white looks good. Uh, the I think the strength is going to be the center of the car and the back and the rims, and then the front looks good as well. the The headlights, I would say, is probably the not the not the coolest feature, but Nissan is actually improving because a lot of times Nissan used to just be a boring car, especially if you look at the Rogue. It's just really a forgettable car in my opinion, but they're making strides to kind of compete with the more Korean cars in terms of their style, and it's working out for them. They should say keep going in that direction. Number three, and remember that this is a video of looks. It is not necessarily a video of brand reliability, builds, uh, powertrains, things like that. So in my opinion, the number three is going to be the Civic uh, because the Civic is a nice combination of, uh, it has a lot of W's in the Civic here. I think they've won a lot of awards for this compact car because for the because of the value that Honda is known for adding a lot of features in their economical cars to really uh, stand out for the competition. And I think a lot of people should go uh, in that direction, looking at you, Toyota, but adding more features, especially with these rising car prices, give everybody the kitchen sink. If you were going to pay, you know, 30 or 35, 40, even $50,000 for cars now, particularly sedans and compact cars. Anyway, the Civic looks nice. It has a subtle, but a bold yet bold and sporty look has a nice little curvature going on here. The side looks great. The grill in the front looks rather um it has a mean and classy look it's it's a it's a nice blend of the two the red is looking great especially with the black rims honda's rims always go above and beyond what is absolutely necessary for um them and the, the segment and the price um yeah i, I they could get some two-tone though they should go into toyota and nissan's book and start two-toning up the place um looks good the gray looks good the red looks good the white looks okay the blue looks good uh, this is a solid, good-looking car. Um, almost, it's almost as big as a midsize. Uh, so it's a lot of value, and they, and that's in the the size of it allows them to do more with the design. And I think that's a cool idea. I'm looking forward to what more Honda does with the Civic in the future, especially because it is a car that a lot of sporty people enjoy and a lot of practical people enjoy. It's kind of like the two. People, one boring person and one cool hip person are on both sides of the equation shaking hands. If you could imagine that in a meme. This might be one of the best looking interiors of in the segment. I look at that fully digital screen. I hope that's, a, I don't know if it's available on all of the, the rides, but this is really clean, sporty, excellent looking. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wireless charger. Nice. Uh, just, it's just fantastic stuff right there. This is really a modern feeling, modern looking compact car especially what a value you have to give coming in at number two in terms of looks is going to be the 2044 corolla this car i cannot believe it uh, i can't really believe how far this car has come in terms of looks this car used to look like a joke like a some irrelevant homer simpson car but they really just now look at now look at this you have this cool looking guy right here next to this car looks like he's about to go on a secret mission in this everyday car it's just incredible stuff look at these golden rims the chosen one this is some craziness this car looks insane these headlights are probably some of the best looking in the segment we've seen so far we gotta take a closer look at this thing and we gotta see what's going on yeah see those headlights those headlights look insane that grill is just mwah, just you know and you have some more leds in the bottom here you have that nice kind of chrome blue emblem going on in certain certain powertrains and then you just, it just, wow, this is something. This car is making a statement. Unbelievable. Look at this. Those rims are looking disgusting. This guy, he's on a mission. This guy is not looking. Ooh, geez Louise. They zoomed into these rims. Oh my God. You know, they had to show the wheel lock on there. They show the lock on there because they're saying you better lock these up because they are going to get stolen. And you have, look at this guy. He's, he's on a mission. He looks like he's about to be in the next uh, Fast and Furious looking like Justin Bieber, like a Japanese Justin Bieber. This guy is looking insane. He's definitely, he has some, he's up to something. I don't think he's up to any good. I think if you buy this car, you're going to be seen as a gangster. Uh, and then you can have the, of course, you can get the, the soccer mom version right here. The L with the little plasticky rims. I think that's the, probably the LE. Yeah, so yeah, if you just want to be, just be not dangerous, you want to be a good person. And yeah, it can be normal. Normal people doing normal stuff, you know. 
Yeah, that's yeah. We we we, we, we want to be this guy. We want to come. Ha ha ha! Yeah, if you buy this car, you're gonna be. You know, you get the nightshade version or whatever it's called. And we're not done oogling over this car yet because they have a hatchback version now. And look at this unbelievable stuff going on right here. This is this is they're breaking the law with this. You can't make this car look so crazy. All of a sudden, this is just too crazy. Toyota needs. To, what are they? I don't know what they're doing, Toyota. I don't know how they figured out. They, they must have hired every stylist, every like person from these Need for Speed, Gran Turismo. They hired people from the sci-fi industry, from from Star Wars, from Star Trek, from Star everything. They hired everybody to come and design these cars because Toyota is going crazy with the designs right now, and they're not stopping anymore. Nobody can call them grandma's car anymore. Now this woman must be the boss or the one of the business partners of the other guy we just saw of Japanese Justin Bieber she has a suitcase she's about to make the deal you know you're gonna oh well, here we go again with these golden rims is showing the lock because you gotta lock these up because they're gonna sell those rims for a bajillion dollars yeah she looks like she's she just made that deal man she's is just getting insane like you, anybody if you if anybody rolls up with that car you better you better hold on to your 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 situation you said you, you might get exploited you know it's just looking crazy look at this big old hatchback Looking bigger than her. Look, it's uh, wow. This is crazy. I can't even believe it. I can't even. I never used to care about this car at all, but lately I've just been seeing these. I had to look twice. I did. I can't even believe what I'm seeing here. Like I'm not a compact sedan guy, but this is this is starting to get a little dangerous. This is starting to get a little suspicious. Look at this. Look at these headlights. This is too crazy. They need to stop. They need to stop. The Toyota is getting too crazy. They are they are done with Korea. They are done with with other people saying that they don't look good. They are coming for it all. So the Corolla, it's bold. It's 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 feisty. It's got the two tone on it. The two that's dangerous stuff, guys. It has to be number two, guys. It's well, what could possibly be number one if this is number two? And then, guys, the craziest thing in the world happened. This thing that no one could have ever saw coming. The gosh darn Toyota Prius actually looks good. I don't even know. We must live in the opposite world now. We must live in some sort of alternate dimension. Like I, I think a planet shifted it and a different planet illuminated on planet Earth. But this car actually looks good from the inside out. It looks insane. It makes whatever this car is going to. I'm surprised if, if Toyota could actually develop cars and get them out. I think this car would completely shut down the Model 3 entirely and Tesla would go bankrupt. Because look at this beautiful ass futuristic car. It looks like straight out of Halo 3. It looks like out of some some sci-fi game you've never even seen. It's some futuristic utopian world that where you would see this car bristling about. It, this is an unbelievable car, guys. This is this looks good. You can tell if if you're on a date, whether you're this man or this woman, if you're on a date and you see this car, you're just it's really that's it. Like I would I would park my that would be the first time I would ever park a Prius sitting in front of my date, I would be proud to walk into a Prius and say, yeah, this is my car. For the first time in ever, I would I would be proud of driving a Prius. Look at this bad boy. The Prius used to look like a joke. It used to be a game. It used to be like, if you have a Prius, you're weird and nobody cared. But then they stepped it up. Toyota never gave up on this silly car. I, for the longest time, I was like, yo, you guys don't need Prius anymore. Hybrid is a thing now. Just put the hybrid stuff in the other powertrains. Now I'm saying, dang, do we even need Corolla? Look at this car is so amazing. What do we even need Corolla for? I guess the hatchback. But this is this is a car is insane. It's looking beautiful. It looks. Look at this madness, guys. Look at this connecting single light on the back. This glossy glass top. They really came straight for Tesla. They were making a statement. They said we're going to destroy Tesla with reg with gas cars. We're going to destroy them. Look at this parking sensor. Look at this beautiful emblem. This is dynamic, crazy. I mean, even the Korea, even the Koreans with their Kia and Honda can't even figure out these designs. They they can't even. They're they're back to the drawing board trying to top these designs. It's just incredible stuff, guys. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe. Look at this. What is this? It must like some sort of solar panel energy going up on here. This is. Jeez Louise, I've seen one of these in the wild. I've seen a couple of these in the wild. I was walking. I was, um, couldn't believe it. I was walking in real life and I was uh, just getting to a restaurant with some friends and we saw this bad boy blow past and I pointed at it and I'm like, that's the Prius. And my friends couldn't even believe it. They couldn't, they were no, it, it's as if they deleted it from their memory because it was just too crazy for them to even fathom. 
that this could be the... Look at this ginormous screen, biggest screen I've ever seen, way bigger than my car. The, we should have a law where your screen has to be 10, 10 inches now, at least, for the infotainment. We need some... We love screens in America here. I'm here to vouch for that. Yeah, this car is insane. It's crazy. I, I, I don't know what cyberpunk video game Toyota is playing, but they need to keep playing it. They need to keep popping out cars like this. They will be the best if they can keep deliver these beautiful, futuristic cars that look like they were supposed to come out five years from now. If they keep delivering these cars, it's a wrap. They will always be the best. Honda, Mazda, Subaru, everybody, they need to take notes on this. Reliability, uh, style, different powertrains, different options for any kind of consumer. This is what you guys need to be. And then Toyota, I, you got to make more of these so people can actually buy them. Come on, Toyota, step it up, but make it happen. Talk to the space magical wizard and make things happen. So guys, this I think was the most craziest twists and turns like you've never seen before in this segment. Never how could I have ever been excited about the segment my entire life until this very moment in time. You know, we have a lot of good things happening in life. We have a lot of bad things happening in life. But one thing is cars are getting crazier and crazier. It's like all the sci-fi movies are finally coming true. Uh, and you see the cars here that are leading the charge, especially um, the, these Japanese manufacturers and uh, Toyota. It's just, they're just going insane right now. And it's really an exciting time to be alive. And the best part is this segment isn't dead for people who are trying to look cool on a budget. So if you like this video, guys, subscribe. because I'm gonna And tell me in the comments if you want to see more content like this because I also like talking about cars. It helps people just to kind of visualize what cars are popular right now, what cars are coming out to help them make a buying purchase decision because we all want to look cool, but we don't want to spend $70,000 doing so on a BMW or something. Well, when you could know these everyday cars are looking fresh now. So I'm going to keep making some content that so you guys can peep this and see what works for you. All right, guys, until next time, I will catch you later. Take care.